I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you alright? I'm fine, and we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Let's go, Mother. Is something the matter? I'm just happy you turned into such a fine young lady. It's not my place to say that, though. I'm sorry I left you behind and ran away. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. They were trying to kill you, and I don't remember much about being in Togetsu anyway. And after I came to Suo, I had my big sister. Then I have to say thank you to your sister. I'm sure she'll be happy. You still call me mother, even after everything. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunad Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunad Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunad Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? That strange space. Is it inside the Kunad Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station, or junction point, for traveling through time. Hmm. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt. Basically, if someone with the Red String's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. 
The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. I got the hang of using the red strings now. Yuito's here this time. I have to do this right. Good to go, Kasane? I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affected. The memories of your past made others appear. So basically, you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. Don't fail! I trust you, Kasai. Leave the rest to me. So if our consciousness is made, is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. As long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as it was. We have to fight it. Useless. Check me. Let's get rid of them. Let's do this. You got this.
This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, then I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes. I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. Let's do this! Alright, I know we can do it. Right, you can help? Yeah, right. Let's go! That seems to be the spot. You got this. This will make the Kunad Gate disappear. Hey, Kasane. That day, I never got the chance to thank you properly. So, thank you for saving me. What? That came out of nowhere. You were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital, right? I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive, and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? If so, it's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so. But something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me. <laughs> There's another one. Is that 50 years in the future? That should be gone. Nothing. Let's do this. This is the other that attacked Yuito. <laughs> Great job! That was a good move! Enemy is done! Useless!
This future should now no longer exist. Have you ever thought about what you would do if you could travel to the past and change history? You mean, after we remove the Kunat Gate? Yeah. The ability to travel through time freely. That's the true power of the Red Strings. Right. If I could go back and save my sister, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought of it. I wanted to save Naomi. I just kept thinking there must be a way over and over again. Every now and then I'm reminded that I won't see her again. And it rattles me. Sure. If I could change history so Naomi wouldn't turn into another, if that was something I could actually do, I don't think I'd do it. Why? Because if you change the past, no one knows how it will affect everything after that. If we were in a different platoon, if we weren't scouted, if I was never adopted, is changing the past until I get the results I want really saving Naomi? And not just Naomi. It's not right to go back and change the lives of everyone in the world just for my own selfish desires. Yeah. I guess it's not right to mess with everyone else just to fulfill your wants. It's painful, and there's a lot of suffering we have to bear. But it's a burden we must carry. Sorry, it was weird of me to bring up. That being said, I am glad I asked, because I was thinking the same thing. I'm relieved you agree. Oh. But this mindset is thanks to you. I've learned so much. The same goes for me. I think my old self would have come to a different conclusion. I mean, I don't think you would have even talked to me for this long, back when you first joined. You know, that's not... <sighs> okay, perhaps you're right about that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we travel to... No. Now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You only travel to those two times, right? Yes, I think those are the only ones. Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's Crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. <laughs> what? How? Former Major General Karin! going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. Leave nothing! Let's go, Kyoka! Let's do this. Kiss my eyes. Good job, Kasane. The enemy lost sight of us. Enemy is done. Let's get rid of them. Let's do this. Let's re 
Okay, that should... Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So... Did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi... What happened to them? <sighs> Damn it! I'm blacking... Yuito... Kasane! Mom? Mother. Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate... Why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> huh? Leave the rest to me. W what? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. M mother <laughs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back to Ketsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here, the more painful it will be. <sighs> no, hold on! There's still so much that I need to say! Mother! <sighs> Yuito. Kasane. Live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for. <sighs> so today is the day. I may give you my brain, but you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito... Yuito... Kasane...
The body has been confirmed as the target, Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain. Following protocol and retrieving her brain. I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. Wakana knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement. Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. <sighs> that uneasy feeling we got when we unraveled the entanglement 11 years ago was because Mom's entanglement still remained. That's strange. Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? We were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... <sighs> He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared, 
because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Karin to the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd ask, so I've been working on it. I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it, the mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No, we might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did. But we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeraki Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeraki Tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The Chief... Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. Alright, let's head back. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi Tomb. I want to talk to Kyoka.
Really? Thanks. Thanks. I should talk to Gamma.
Thank you so much. Kasane, I think you'd be good at growing plants. You think so? You learn fast, and you're observant. If there's a flower you like, or a plant you want to grow, tell me, I'll look for it. Are you and I pretty close? Is that surprising? Maybe this is what it means to get along well. Sure. Thank you. This is very nice. Everyone, will you listen to me for a minute? Huh? What's wrong, Gemma? Why are you shouting? Sorry, but while everyone is here at the hideout, I have something to say. It must be important if it makes you look that serious. Come on, everyone. Listen to him. 
Gemma always looks like that, though. Don't worry about how I look. I'd like to reprimand Arashi for her violation. Oh, I have something to say, too. Don't leave your stuff in my personal space. By personal space, do you mean what we agreed about when we merged Yuito and Kasane platoons? The agreement was to have everyone keep their belongings in their own space, right? Arashi, your stuff is all over the place. Your personal space seems to be growing. Yeah, it's three centimeters bigger than it was yesterday. Is that really a big deal, Shiden? What's that supposed to mean? It's not like we drew lines on the floor or something. There was never any rule about not expanding your space. That's unfair, Arashi. This hideout is for everyone, so we have to use it fairly. Then let's make a new rule. Hmm. How about we have a contest? And if you win, I'll give the space back. If I win, I get half of the loser space. Even though you took your extra space unfairly? That doesn't sound right. What kind of contest? You mean with our powers? No, how about a game instead? I just stumbled across a good one. Wait, what? That's Final Jockey. That game was really popular in the OSF a long time ago. Hey, I made a name for myself as a genius jockey in Suo. You're sure about what you just said? Of course I am. All right, I'll be taking Arashi's face then. Don't come crying to me when you fall off your horse. No, it, it can't be. Me, the undefeated jockey genius Kagero, lost? But Arashi, you cheated. You used hypervelocity to push the button faster. Hey, that's just strategy. No one said you couldn't use your powers. But just pushing the button fast drains stamina and you'll lose. Ha, I got it. You glitched the game by pressing the buttons fast. Ugh, you play dirty. <laughs> Say what you will, scrubs. If you don't like it, you can come face the true king of this unit. Me, with all the powers you have. Then, how about facing me? I want more room for another planter. And I feel bad for Kagero. Oh, me too! I want more space for my Baki collection. I'll pass. I don't understand all that pew-pew stuff. I'll sit out too. This is all so ridiculous. I'll just move Arashi's stuff with my psychokinesis. I'll settle for watching as well. I enjoy physical exercise much more than virtual contests. Okay, all right. The Fraser twins are in it to win it. Now I'm involved in this? Let's just have a fair game. How many people can play at once? I'll join if there's room for me. This looks like fun. I want to play with everyone too. I want to play too. Just hold on a second. Let me get my lucky bandana, then I'll pray. Okay, now my lucky power is fully charged. I'll take you all on at once then. Let the games begin. The great Unix Space Cup has begun. Kagero and Luca here, bringing you coverage live. Wait, me? And the horses are out of the gates. Arashi is so fast. That hypervelocity is pushing it as fast as any pro. First things first, we have to stop Arashi. Wait, it looks like Yuito locked Arashi's buttons with his psychokinesis. You've got a lot of guts going against me like that. What? That great item I just got was completely wasted. Arashi's playing dirty as expected. She used hypervelocity to push buttons on Yuito's controller. Meanwhile, my angel Sugumi's horse seems to have stopped? I didn't realize my horse's stamina was running out. Oh, I made the same mistake. I was furiously trying to push the button as fast as I could. I guess the glitch doesn't occur when you rapidly push buttons without hypervelocity. Also, Sugumi and Hanabi's powers aren't suited for video games, putting them at a disadvantage. Huh. They can just use their natural ability then. Oh, Shiden is creeping up on Arashi while she tries slowing down Yuito. Take a banana peel! Huh? 
Shiden's character suddenly stopped moving. What? what? What's happening? Move! Move! Shiden must have accidentally let an electrical surge through to the controller. It's broken. I see. Makes sense considering how careless he is. What did you say, Kagero? Oh, the Fraser twins are throwing items at each other. They both look very angry. What are those two doing? Maybe they're having a telepathic argument. I see. There's no telling what they're saying, but it seems very serious. That's right. Haruka is totally evil. Oh, shut up. You're the one that said I sucked just because I messed up the controls a little. I didn't even want to play this stupid game, but you had to get me involved with your telepathy. Uh, back to the race. It seems like Arashi and Major Kyoka are still in it. They are very far apart, though, at this rate. What's this? Did a secret invulnerability carrot just appear? Kyoka used it! Huh? My horse is glowing after getting that carrot thing. Major, dash! Bump into Arashi! Huh? What? What's going on? Wow. Kyoka's horse flung Arashi's horse away. Then I'll be taking this unit space. I'll be splitting it up amongst everyone evenly. That's an end to this violation thing. No more arguing, got it? Hey, let's do it again, but with no powers. This game is really fun. Come on, Luca, you too. Me? Well, I guess I could give it a try. <laughs> Everyone's having a blast. That game may be old, but it sure has value. Yeah. Recreation is important, after all. You're really good at games, Arashi. I doubt I could beat you even if you didn't use your power. Yeah, but she lost to a novice gamer like Kyoka. Wait, so Kasane, you saw right through it? Huh? What do you mean? Arashi, Kyoka, and Gemma were in cahoots. Sorry. We now have different groups joining together to fight, which can be awkward. Kyoka also said it'd be a good opportunity to get used to each other. Gemma and I have caused problems before, so we wanted to help everyone get along to make up for it. That's why Arashi risked being the target for revenge. We figured the group would cooperate against a common enemy. It wasn't that big of a deal. If everyone works well together, then I can slack off even more. So, you laid your stuff out all over on purpose? No, she's been messy since before we hooked up with your platoon. Kagero seemed to have noticed our ploy too. Yeah, he joined the game right away. He's in a neutral position and is pretty clever. I guess mission accomplished then. Everyone had a blast. I did too. Right? Even I was having fun after noticing it was all set up. Yes, it was fun just watching. Yeah, it was almost like a family reunion or something. How about another round? With Kasane and Gemma playing this time? I'm actually feeling up to it today. I guess I'll give in just this once. How about it, Kasane? Okay, but I'll be taking the win. I guess I should talk to Kagero. So think about the amount of water you would need for your flowers, and make sure you... Are you listening to me, Kagura? Yep. You know very well that I'd never miss a word my beloved Sugumi says. Okay, but I'm going to be mad if you don't put this all to use. <laughs> I know, I know. Leave it to your guy, Kagura. You talk a lot with Sugumi. You aren't going to ask her out on a date. Oh, are you jealous? <laughs> it seems like I'm back in the game after 2,000 years. I'm starting to understand. 
Do you see Sugumi and me as replacements for your daughter? Oh, I know. Want to help me with an errand? Don't change the subject. A good woman doesn't point that out. I want to go clean up an old hideout I used to use. An old hideout? Yeah, it's a place I used to lay low back when I was doing my spy work. There should still be a lot of inside information and classified data on Togetsu, so I thought I might as well grab it all. Hmm. That might actually be of use to the government when handling them in the future. It's not for the government. I just wanted to do my part when it comes to them. Okay, I'll help. Where is it? Kikuchiba. Let's get going. I'll send you the coordinates to the hideout. We'll head there. I just know there's going to be others. The last time we came here, you said the city was haunted. Fire. Oh yeah. It just reminded me of myself a little. Sadness being left behind. And being a little sad. Come on, let's go. Help me, Shiden! I trust you, Kasane! About our last conversation... What? We were in Mizuagawa. You were telling me to do something meaningful? 
Well, I've been thinking about it ever since then, but nothing really comes to mind. Once we stopped Togetsu's plan, I felt like I fulfilled my role. I was thinking, it might be time for a ghost from the past like me to move on. Listen, that was the old you who fulfilled his role. We still need Kagero in the here and now. I don't know if you've realized, but Kagero doesn't even exist. What do you mean? On the moon and in Togetsu, I was called Shin Daniel. Kagero Dawn is just a pseudonym. That name is a shimmer that doesn't exist. Maybe that's true for you, but for us, it's different. Whatever your real name might be, the Kagero Dawn we've known in the OSF isn't a ghost. And when you were talking fondly with Tsugumi, you didn't look like a ghost then. Hmm. What Tsugumi and the rest of us need is you. We don't need some stranger from the past. How is it that you've become this wise at your young age? I'm seriously impressed with you. Yeah, if people need Kagero Dawn, then maybe I don't have to feel so empty after all. Perhaps it's time I put my past self to rest and started focusing on the present. I guess I'll need to clean up my old haunts first. We're almost to the hideout. Let's go. Leave nothing! I trust you, Kasan. Yeah. Finally made it. I know it's shabby, but make yourself comfortable. Actually, something seems off. It's pretty messy. Do you think someone broke in? Seems like it. Wait here. Let me take a look around. Dang. All the data's either been taken or destroyed. Most likely Togetsu. They probably felt the need to clean things up when they realized I turned on them. I figured they would. Why come all the way out here if you predicted this would happen? Hmm. Well, I wanted to confirm my suspicions and also grab some of my personal belongings. <sighs> Sukumi. Did you find something? Is that a picture? It looks ripped. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's an old photo. Is it of your family? If we find the other pieces, we might be able to restore it. No, it's okay. It's not like this is the only photo I have. But it's important to you. What's important are the memories. Don't you remember what you said to me? It's because of the important things we've lost that we have to live on. And I think now is the time I need to get my act together and keep moving forward. 
If I keep dragging this on the way I've been doing until now, then I'm sure I'll start upsetting everyone. Okay, if you're fine with that. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Talking with you helped me realize a lot of things. You said you were going to move forward. What are you planning on doing? First, I'll settle things with my past. As someone who's worked with Togetsu, I have a responsibility to deal with Babe and Karin. I have to see the things we started to the very end. Then I'll finally be able to put my past to bed. And when that's done? After that? Well, I'll think about a new life. How I'll live, what I can do. I think that sounds good. At least you don't sound as lame as you did before. Well, well. It seems like you've come to appreciate my newfound sense of maturity. If you'd like to go out on a date... It might be a while before you find this new life of yours. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? These dates are your way of connecting with your daughter. To be the father you never could be. Well, gosh, I keep telling you that you shouldn't be saying these things out loud. I guess I preferred it more when I was just the creepy old guy asking a young girl out on a date. That work? Okay, so... Daddy Kagero? Let's drop the daddy bit. I don't think my fragile heart can take it. Looks like he's back to being his old self. That might be for the best. You're lazy as always. You never change. Thank you for the compliment. And you're as stuffy and by the book as ever. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you very much. So how have things been with Major General Fubuki lately? Good? Why are you bringing him up? You rescued him when he was missing. You used your power at full speed to go look for him, remember? Oh, right. A lot's happened since then, and I can't be bothered remembering such trivial matters. If you must know, I think he's still alive. That's good. Just like always, she'll never change, will she? How's Arashi doing, Kasane? Does she seem strange to you? No. Did something happen? I suddenly got a message from her saying, good morning. This has never happened before. I thought it could be code for something, so I wondered if there was a problem. No, there haven't been any problems. She's just lazing around on the sofa like her usual self. Skipping out on work again. Okay, that's a relief. Sorry, just let me know if anything happens. He's such a worrywart. But I guess I can check for him. Arashi, you got a second? I was thinking about grabbing something to eat in town. In town? Ugh. I guess it's not so bad going outside once in a while. So, where are we going? You are acting strange. Fubuki said what? How rude! You should be mad at him for making you spy on me. That's a little much. If you have a problem with him, you should message him again. What changed? I mean, you messaged your brother and even accepted an invitation to eat out. I told you that I hate waste, but it's not necessarily bad. I thought I could fine-tune my lifestyle a little. Consider it a personal upgrade. Your hair clip, Naomi's cooking, and his letters. 
I used to just write them off as a waste, but I started thinking that there could be some things that weren't so bad. RSU 1.0 had a lot of flaws. RSU 2.0 has been operating for a long time, but I see some areas that can be improved. In other words, RSU 2.1 is currently in open beta. That's a weird analogy. Well, RSU 2.1 doesn't seem so bad. I'd give it a playtest. Thank you for the feedback. I'll keep that in mind. Well, we finished eating and I'm feeling plenty energetic. I'm off to sleep then. The fact that you didn't say you were going to work means that the update is pretty minor. If you change too much, you're bound to create errors. You have to stick to small changes. Is that letter... I knew it. I thought she threw it out. It's her first sentimental item. Arshi 2.1 is proving to be quite the major upgrade. You've helped me out so much, Kasane. Which reminds me, I did say I'd pay you back. I wasn't expecting you to actually do anything, so it's fine. Just let me pay you back. Kasane, thank you for everything. Saying thank you was paying me back? <laughs> That's just like you. Right? I really put my all into that one, so I'm good for the next hundred years. I'm looking forward to your help again. together. It's so much easier. That goes for the both of us. I'm not scared of anything either, as long as I have you with me. Kasane, perfect. Do you want to come to Kikuchiba with me? Kikuchiba? What for? There's something I want to talk to you about. I thought we could change locations, like we did when we went to Mizuhagawa. That's fine. But don't worry about packing a lunch for us this time. I think it'll take too long. Let's just get going. Oh, okay then. Let's head over to Kikuchiba. He looks like he wanted to make lunch for us. Hey, do you remember when we came here together before? A lot has happened since then. Before? When was that? You know, when we went looking for Captain Seto's fountain pen. You said you were doing a background check. Oh, that. I met him for Naomi's sake, and got the fountain pen for Captain Seto. Now neither of them are with us anymore. Back then? I had no idea that we'd get caught up in something that involved the whole world. Not just us, but everyone around us, too. It's nothing we could have expected. You're right. 
Hello, sorry to interrupt. Two large groups of others were confirmed near you. There are a lot of them, more than you usually see around there. It shouldn't be a problem for you guys, but be careful just in case. Affirmative. What do you want to do? Let's split up. That'll be quicker. Okay. Then I'll take this side. I'll contact you again once I take down a few. All right. Let's both be careful. There's more of them than I thought. How are things with you, Yuito? Kasane? What's going on? Yuito? I can't hear you, Yuito. Haruka, do you know what's going on? Neither of them are responding. Our signal is being jammed. SAS is down too. I need to get through this somehow. Looks like I'm surrounded. I'll take care of them. I can't believe communications went down so suddenly. Maybe it was careless to split up. If this keeps up, it won't be a problem for me. But I wonder if Yui is alright. No. Worrying won't help. He'll be fine. I can trust that now. It feels strange believing in someone. Naomi was the only person I trusted like that before. I can feel it even if he's far away. Yuito is fighting somewhere, and he believes in me. So it's alright. I won't look back. I will fight my own fight. Let's keep going. I'm not done yet.
something rare. SAS still seems to be down. That still didn't do it? I need to watch him closely to sync up with him when the time is right. It was a close one. It was? I wasn't really all that worried. I assumed you would act when you did. <laughs> I was nervous. I guess we can work together even without SAS. I don't think I could have pulled it off with someone else. Thank you for getting the timing right. <laughs> it's nice to hear a compliment from you. You're always so harsh. Am I? Well, whatever. Let's make our way to the top. You get a good view of New Himuka from up here. So what did you want to talk to me about? I wanted to ask you about your plans after all the fighting is over. That's a difficult question. How about you? What are you thinking? I have a vague idea. It might be too grand, so you'll probably laugh. I won't laugh, no matter what it is. Thanks. I want to change the world. Change the world? Yeah. We've both seen a lot of bad things in this country. The world that we live in now is built on so much sadness and sacrifice. That's true. Suo, Seiron, and Togetsu. There were people suffering everywhere. So many people's lives were turned upside down because of the desire for the strongest power, or using powers to alter time. It's got to end. This world can't exist just for powers. That's why I want to change the world. To make it a place where people don't have to rely on powers for everything. I know it will take a long time, but I feel like as a dud, I'm the perfect person for it. A dud, that's right. How's your head? They were saying you might lose your power. No big change at the moment, but if it really comes down to it, I'm prepared to become one again. You're pretty calm about it. The way you were talking, I thought you would be a little depressed. 
I mean, it will be inconvenient. But you know what? I'm not the least bit afraid. I thought the same thing when the network went down. Like I was fighting back to back with you, even without SAS. You thought the same thing? I wonder if that's what it feels like to lose your power. We're not just connected by SAS. Even if we can't see each other's faces or hear each other's voices, the most important thing, our connection, doesn't go away. So I'll be alright. That's good. When we first met, I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to count on you in a fight. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling you thought that. But you're different now. I think you really can change the world. <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm relieved as well. I feel like I can leave this world to you. Leave? What are you planning to do? Well, I haven't decided on a clear goal yet. But I've sort of been thinking of something outside this world. Like, outside of New Himuka? You mean the moon? I've been thinking about it ever since I heard humanity came here from the moon. Outside this world is another world that I know nothing about, filled with people who are a mystery to me. They're suffering, just like the people here. They are attacked by others, and turning into them. Once I realized that, I couldn't ignore it. I thought maybe I could help somehow. The moon. I thought I understood the first time I heard about it. But the scale is just too big. It doesn't seem real at all. I certainly never thought about saving the people that live there. You really are amazing. I'm not amazing at all. I just don't want to regret neglecting the people I could have protected. My sister always watched over me. She protected me all my life. Now it's my turn to watch over someone else. I always felt that you were the kind of person that would step up to protect people, even if you're alone. It's almost as if you're not afraid of anything. I looked up to you when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like you. I think you're plenty like me. And you're giving me too much credit thinking I'm never afraid. As you said before, the most important connections never go away. You mean Naomi? Not just her. The memories of my mother. And the time I spent with all of you. The only reason I'm not as afraid as I should be is because I know they'll always be with me. I know that they'll always be here, inside my heart. So, even if you're alone, you're never really alone? I kind of like that. That's why I feel like I can go anywhere. Even going beyond the sky. <laughs> I know that sounds like a dream. I think you can do it. No. I know you can. Thank you. So, it looks like you and I will be going our separate ways. It won't just be us. I think everyone will find their own path and slowly drift farther apart. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me sad. But even apart, we're still friends. Yeah. Okay. We should probably get back to the hideout. There's so much to do before and after a fight. We just have to take care of what's in front of us. Though listening to you made me excited for the future. It won't be easy for either of us, so let's do our best. Both in our own places. Absolutely. I promise I'll make a better future, no matter how long it takes. You can take your time, but if you take too long, I'll bring peace to the moon and come back before you're done. Oh, so it's a competition now. I know you hate to lose. I said how much we counted on you before, but I've started to think recently that it can't just be like that. What do you mean? You'll get tired if everyone keeps leaning on you. I want to support you, too. We're friends. I might not be able to replace Naomi, but I feel like I can become something for you like what Baki is to me. <laughs> You're such an idiot. 
but thank you. I look forward to it. I'm glad we're together like this. Thanks for being a part of my life. Me too. <laughs> I can't believe I feel this way about you now. Kasane, I want to discuss the matter I mentioned before. Are you free right now? Yes, I'm free. Why don't we go to a cafe in Suo? A cafe? Okay. So, what did you want to talk about? It's hard for me to bring up. I have an extremely embarrassing favor to ask. Okay, I understand this is uncomfortable for you. We can talk about it some other time if you'd like. No, I'll find the courage. I want to change. I've thought for a while how I want to be friends with everyone, so I need to get better at talking. I was hoping you would let me practice my conversation skills with you. Practice conversation? I can't imagine I'd be the best person for that. I want it to be you. You're easy to talk to. Well, if I'm the one you want, then I've got no problem with that. Oh, good. What do you want to talk about, though? Anything specific? What? Um, I'll pick a topic. So, um, how have you been lately? Lately? I haven't really had any issues. I see. It's good, not having any issues. Yes. Well, do you have a favorite food? Or maybe food you hate? Not really. I see. You're not picky. That's good. Uh-huh. Uh, um, then... Oh, what do you think about the latest trends in fashion? Not sure. Fashion's never been my thing. I see. Mine neither. Mm. Um, what else? What can we talk about? I have to keep the conversation going. Sugumi, calm down and take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm no good at this. It's just a thought, but it might be better to talk like you normally do. What? But... There's no need to force a topic. And you'll have an easier time talking about your own interests, like plants. Yes, but that won't be much practice. I need to be able to talk about more things, or else nobody will have fun talking with me. I have to talk about things everyone else will enjoy if I want to be friendly. Does that everyone include me? What? Why? Because I've enjoyed all our conversations. Really? Really. I don't know about everyone else, but I want to hear more about what you have to say. But... I always thought you were just politely humoring me when I talked. I feel bad because I'm such a slow talker, and I'm always being such a bother. I'm not an especially patient person. If I thought you were a bother, I'd just pick up and leave. You know a lot of things that I and many people don't. And you're always so considerate to those around you, putting them before yourself. Your kindness, in some way, reminds me of Naomi. Whether you believe it or not, I like the time we spend together. Sunny. Tsugumi? Are you okay? Your face is flushed. I'm fine. It's just that I never thought you'd say something like that about me. 
I thought I had to change. That I needed to be different because I'm no good like this. But if there are people like you who think I'm fun the way I am, I might not be as bad as I thought. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Kagero, Yuito, and everyone else at the hideout probably feel the same way. We like you the way you are. You think so? I certainly hope that's the case. Well, I'll go on ahead. I'll see you back at the hideout. Um, I'm really glad I met you. So, would you mind if I asked you one more favor? That depends on what it is. Go ahead. Could I be your friend? If you're not opposed to the idea. That's fine. I'm not opposed at all. But what does being a friend mean? What do I need to do? What? I'm not really sure now that you've asked. Like, talk together. Have tea together. Talk about our troubles. Haven't we been doing all of that already? Right. Doesn't that mean we've been friends for a while now? Yes, I guess it does. So I suppose we continue doing what we've been doing? Okay, call me anytime. Kasane, there's a workout I want to try. Would you mind helping me? Sure. What do I need to do? I'm going to do some bench presses, and I need more than the equipment weights. So I want you to use your psychokinesis to push the barbell down. Isn't that dangerous? It seems to me that the weights you have now are enough of a workout. No, I want a bigger challenge. Please. Okay, I'll give it a shot. <sighs> <clears throat> You're not lifting the barbell up at all. Do you want me to stop using my psychokinesis? No, just a little more. I feel like I can do it with just a little more. He's either really persistent or really stubborn. <sighs> I failed to lift it a single millimeter. Forgive me for wasting your time. Learning that workouts like this are unrealistic makes it not a waste. <laughs> That's harsh. It's going to be harder to reach my goal than I thought. Why are you in such a rush? You should have recognized that this was going to be impossible. I want to surpass my limits. You made me realize that the last time we talked. I was too caught up with having or not having my abilities. The important thing is what you do, not the method in which you do it. I guess I did say something like that. When I sat down and thought about what I wanted to do, a goal came to mind. However, the goal proved to be too big. Something I couldn't achieve without changing. What is it? To build a society in which duds are treated equally to others. Right now in New Himuka, people without abilities are treated like they don't even exist. That's true. I didn't even know what dud meant until the other day. The reason I'm so scared of losing my abilities is because I'm well aware of the state of our society. If that doesn't change, then duds like me will never be rid of that underlying anxiety. You're right, that is a big goal. But I don't know how it relates to that reckless training we just did. I thought I could break through my psychological shell and grow as a person by surpassing the limits of my physical body. If I'm going to change the entire country by myself, then I can't stay the way I am. I need to work even harder. If I don't, I'll never be able to accomplish it. I mean, it may be too large of a goal for me to ever accomplish on my own either way. Yes, this might be a bigger problem than what you can fix on your own. But that doesn't mean it can't be accomplished. Kasane? 
Look, what are you doing? If you carry it with your psychokinesis, it eliminates the whole purpose of the workout. In that case, I think the workout is unreasonable to begin with. You certainly are right about that. What I'm trying to say is that this barbell is the same as the problem with society. <sighs> you don't need to try and take everything on by yourself. There's something each of us can do. Nobody can change a country by themselves. So why don't we just work together as a group? I see your point. But I don't know if I'm capable of inspiring people to act... ...like my brother. You remember what I said, but not what you've said yourself. What? Those with strong wills naturally draw people to them. You said that. Right now, you have a clear goal and will. I'm sure there will be people who will help you if you asked. I see. I suppose I can't argue against myself. It seems like I misunderstood what I need to do. I thought I needed to become stronger without anyone's help. But really, I was just making excuses because I was afraid to try. Once you take the first step, I doubt you'll find it that hard. <laughs> Easier said than done. But you're correct. I can't just stand here forever. Once the fighting ends, I'll do what I can. I'll raise support as I face this nation's issues, even if things don't change right away. One day duds like me will be able to live their lives in the open, unashamed of who they are. I'll help you however I can, too. Thank you very much. Then could you start by returning the barbell? I'd like to resume my workout. Okay, but you're not going to do anything reckless again, right? Of course not. I'll be doing my normal workout. The best way to exercise is to go at your own pace. You still put on all the weights, though. I said that I would not be reckless. Not that I would go easy. Here we go. You really are stubborn. But maybe that's what makes you who you are. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. It doesn't seem like he's listening. He's having too much fun. I'll leave him alone. Kasane, the Togetsu agents contacted me. I was instructed to go to these coordinates located on Hiano Mountain. I plan to lure them out and gather intel. Will you come with me? Yes, of course. But there will be two of us, so wouldn't it be easier to just round them up and capture them? It depends on what they do. First, let's go where they asked me to and wait for them to show themselves. Okay, let's head to Hiano Mountain. are just up ahead. Let's keep going. Do you still have doubts about your existence? Not as much thanks to you. However, we should focus on the task at hand. Help me, Shiden! Let's go, Kyoka! Kasane, 
I know yourself. my power will help. Doing this. Let's get rid of them. I trust you, Kasane. <laughs> around here. You should hide until they show themselves. All right. Wait. Something's coming this way. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if they get on you, so be careful. Let's do this. What? This There's nowhere to go. Let's keep going. Now, they never... It's over.
that seems to be the last of them. No, not yet. I know you're there. Come out. <clears throat> I wouldn't have called out if we weren't ready for you. Now, it's time to talk. It looks like you're the only one here. <sighs> Her face is identical to yours. I suspected it. You're also one of the design children. Just so you know, restoring Babe's data is impossible, even with Dr. Pope's knowledge of neuroscience. I'm sorry you wasted your time. <laughs> Impudent fool. What do you mean? Feign confidence is not advised in this situation. We do not need the knowledge or the technology. We need your brain. The only brain that holds Dr. Pope's memories. You were going to use my brain to build a new Babe. Huh? Babe prepared contingency plans for all scenarios. The current situation is just one of those. If the mainframe goes down, we use a spare. Togetsu merely needs to carry out the plan faithfully. I feel sorry for you. There isn't anyone to give you orders anymore. Yet you still obey. You have nowhere else to go. You don't know any other way to live. You can only carry out your orders. <laughs> you should be feeling sorry for yourself. What did you say? As long as I am serving a higher purpose, I can live happily, without worry or hesitation. What about you? You lost your purpose and your value, doomed to live a scared and anxious life. <sighs> you were listening in on us? I do not have to. I know how you feel. You are the same as I am, a worthless being. Only Togetsu can give us value. No, I... Watch out! What? Don't compare yourself to Kyoka. You're nothing more than a mere puppet. And yes, I do my fair share of worrying, but that's a far better way to live. It's better than being used all my life like you. Life is worth more when you make your own decisions. Kasane. It does not matter what you say. Your true nature does not change. You should be well aware of this. Yes, I know. I'm sure I'll be living scared the rest of my life, but that's fine. Kasane helped me realize that this fear is proof that I freed myself from my puppet strings. I control myself now. Whether I have Dr. Pope's memories or not, I'm still me. The moment I freely chose my own future, I became the individual Kyoka. <sighs> I handed her over to the proper authorities in Suo. We should let the government take care of the Togetsu remnants. Now, that's that. How are you feeling? I'm still uneasy. But it's not bad now that I know it's a part of me. Do you remember that fortune teller? I remember waiting in the long line. I think the reason why fortune reading is so popular is because everyone is afraid of the future. You think so? Yes. Everyone takes each step forward carrying that worry with them. I'd love to have my future read. Let's make sure we actually go next time. In other words, we have to wait in that long line again. <sighs> I'm glad she feels better. Kasane, I know I sound like a broken record, but I want you to remember this. No matter where you are, no matter how far away, I hope you can be happy. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I never would have felt this way. I feel like I know everything about you. That makes me so happy. You really care about me. Thank you. That makes me happy too. <laughs>